So today I'm going to start in on this rocker panel. I'm not sure exactly uh, how I'm going to tackle this one yet. Uh, as probably as I dig into it, I'll figure it out. But you can see it's got some rust holes there, uh, some pinholes along the bottom, and it's got a nice sized dent. Something must have happened there at some point. But this will all get replaced, or at least the, at least the rusty parts. So as you get in, you can see rest of where the bulk of the rust is. If it was just that outside stuff, that would be easy, but it's never easy. So this should be fun. I think it's just limited to the rocker panel. Looking pretty solid, just along this bottom. I think what I'm gonna end up doing is just cutting out this piece and maybe this piece and then welding in new. And then same thing on the bottom, just so I can maintain the alignment. And, and the metal's pretty strong. That lip is pretty well gone. I have to get my shot back out. There's a lot of nasty in there. Here's a major problem. As you can see here, there's a sort of a weep hole that they designed into this rocker panel. And if you come down along the side, you can see another one there. I mean, that's the dirt. Um, but there's another one there. And it's completely clogged up with with dirt you can kind of see you get the right angle you can see the ground through that one but it doesn't take much dirt to get in there clog goes up and then next thing you know you don't have a rocker panel anymore
So there we go. So I've got each each end marked here and here, and I've got a sort of a three and one tool. It uh, it's a break. It'll cut sheet metal. It'll bend it, and it'll it'll roll it with the rollers on top. Go. Oh. If I compare the angle of the bend, kind of see it's it's right there. There we go. I uh, like it. Although the only problem I'm going to have is it's going to be it's going to be a sharper bend that's in the car. It's more radius, so I'm going to have to hit that with a sander to kind of mimic what's already there. First try. All right, here's a pro tip right here. The I got the shiny, I bought this new, and it's all shiny chrome. Um, and typically to protect it, I see a lot of people wrapping it with tape. However, uh, depending on how long the restoration takes, it could be a year before you unwrap that. And then what you're stuck with is a bunch of glue all over the chrome. So what I like to do is wrap it instead, um, like with a paper towel or, or plastic or something, and 
it'll still stay on there um, and be nice and tight. And I guess that paper probably cushions it a little bit more as well. Um, but when you go to remove this, finally, when you finish your project up in the next 10, 15 years, uh, and you go to rip this tape off, you don't have to worry about scraping that glue off the chrome. So uh, there you go. You're welcome. <laughs>
um, after sandblasting it about that much and all the rusty spots. Now it was probably three, four years ago and it's doing fine. So, so there, take that.